This video shows you how you can update your Google TVs to make sure that you've got the latest features and security updates. Stick around, all the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this guide is going to show you how you can update your Google TV to make sure that you've got the latest security updates. This may also apply to Android TV as well. So what you need to do be is you need to be at your home screen. So just go across to the cog just over there on the right. Once you've come to it, this will appear middle button on the remote, then go down to system and then go across to the right and then down to about across to the right again and then make sure that system update is highlighted middle button on the remote control and it will then check for any updates and there you go on mine there is a new update available so it tells us the actual version number of the update and it gives you an idea of what it's going to do so it says security patch level spl update and minor bug fixes so it's got a fixed a few things and it's it's going to give you the latest security. Now, this should come through automatically, but if you haven't had your Google TV or Google TV box switched on in a while, then you might be keen once you've switched it on to make sure that you've got the latest update. So this is really when you would do this. So, OK, so what I've done is I've made sure that download is highlighted just over there on the right middle button on the remote control. And as you can see there on the left, it said downloading. Now it says verifying. Now, in some cases, it could be quite a big update. So as you can see on mine, it's 727 megabytes. My internet connection isn't that fast, so it could take a little while. So what I'm going to do while it's verifying and downloading and installing, I'm going to pause this video and we'll come back to it a little bit later on in the update stages. Now I should pre-warn you that do not try to unplug the power whilst it's doing this update. Make sure that you leave it switched on. Make sure that you don't touch anything. Don't try and stop it. As you can see, mine is now installing the update. So this is very, very important. If you do power off the system whilst it's updating, there's a very, very good chance you could trash the actual TV or the box. So make sure, doesn't matter how long it takes, even if it takes overnight, leave it plugged in, switched on at the mains, leave it alone. Because like I say, if you do interrupt it, if you do pull the power on it whilst it's updating, you could end up completely trashing the system and end up having to buy a whole new TV or device. Now, you might find during the update, if it takes too long, the actual screensaver may kick in. Just press the back button on the remote once and that should take you back to the uh, system update screen. There we go. So we're nearly coming to the end of the line there, but don't get too excited because as in my case there, as you can see below the line, it says step one of two. So there's another step to go. Yours may have step one of two. It may have step one of three or just one of one. There you go. It's now doing step two of two. So again, just be patient with this bit. It may take sometimes. So as you can see, the line has started again from the left and has got to go all the way up to the right. So just be patient with it because this is step two. And just like in step one, don't try and unplug your device from the power because once again, you could end up trashing it. You could end up having to buy a whole new TV or a whole new Google TV device. Looks like this time on step two of mine, the line is going up a little bit quicker than step one. I can only imagine that step two is a smaller part of the update. So once again, I'm going to pause this video and we're going to come back to it as it's nearing the end. OK, so suddenly the lines shot up and we've got a message underneath the line saying downloaded and verified. And then even further below that, you've got to install now, restart your device. So all you need to do is grab your remote control, press the middle button on it and there you go. Restarting now. Now, it may take longer to restart. 
just be patient with it again don't try and pull out the power lead don't try and turn it off from the power let it do what it needs to do i'm going to pause this video and we'll come back to it shortly okay so you got the google tv logo come up with the colors spinning round and again this may be on screen for longer than what it usually is because it's still doing the update in the background it's finishing off as you can see now i've got a black screen and again this could be blank for longer than usual just because it's like i say it's still doing some updates in the background and here we go google tv is now loading up i've got my icons and there we go so what i would suggest doing is once you've done a restart then go across once again to the settings cog over there on the right and then middle button on the remote things might be a bit slow like i say still updating in the background so just be patient with it mine's certainly lagging a lot more at the moment as you can see here i've just got this black screen after pressing the middle button there you go and let's go down to system and there you go it says here finishing system updates tv may be slow while applying the updates so i'm going to go across to about just over there and then across to system update middle button and just going to check just to make sure that there's no more updates waiting to come through so again this bit might take a little bit of time because the system's running slower at the moment this will speed up don't worry it's just because it like i say it's doing updates in the background there you go it says your system is up to date so i'm just going to press the middle button again once more just to make sure that it hasn't missed any updates and what i would say is if there are updates then just keep following the instructions keep coming back to this until it says your system is up to date like mine is now so there we go i'm just going to press the home button on the remote to take us back to the home screen and there you go i hope you like this video and i hope it helped if it did, then consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or have a look down below in the description if you want to have a look at my Amazon shop or you're looking for a VPN, a Fire TV stick, Fire TV cube or Fire stick accessories. We've got loads of links down there for you. Buying, subscribing or donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching and bringing you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these on your social media timelines. If you want to look me up on X, formerly known as Twitter, then I'm at CWTEK. Or if you want to have a look at my website, it's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.